So we're at the point now where our binomial expansion abilities are actually pretty darn good. But what I want to do is I want to look at specifics now. I, I may not want to expand out an entire binomial expansion just to find one crazy term. Let's say I want the fifth term of some sort of expansion. Am I going to go out and do the whole darn thing just to find the fifth term? Heck no, that's way too much like work. So what we have to do is we have to start thinking now. And I'm going to show you something cool. This is called the general term of the expansion. What does that mean? Think about this for a second. Think about this. What does the n mean? Well, if I had something like x plus y to the n, that n and that n, of course, match. So that's the power. But remember, this idea then comes in here. What the heck is the k? The k could be whatever you're selecting. What do you mean? Well, if this power was, let's say, to the power of 6, then I know this is 6, choose whatever I want to choose, which could happen to be something like 4. If I did 6, choose 4, look how everything else falls into place. What do I mean? If I'm at 6, choose 4, I already started 6, choose 0, 6, choose 1, 6, choose 2, 6, choose 3, and now I'm at 6, choose 4. Wait a second, there's got to be an easier way of doing it. It is, right there. That means that your x term now, that means this guy here, is simply 6 minus whatever you chose. 6 minus whatever you chose. So this, in fact, is going to be 6, choose 4, x to the 2. And watch this. Have you ever noticed something? Ever notice something that this choose and that power of the y are exactly the same? So this, in fact, would be y to some value. That's y, of course, to the 4. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. It works perfectly every single time. So how does this help us? Well, let me show you a couple of things where this is going to help us. This general term is going to help us huge couple important points before we do this though. Remember, whenever you're dealing with an expansion, the expansion is whatever the power is plus one. So if we're going to the power of six, we have seven terms. Okay? If we go to the power of 10, we have 11 terms. If we go power of 22, we have 23 terms. You see what I mean? Now, the number of selected objects, k, always matches the variable in the second exponent that variable right there. Do you see it? Cool. So it comes up with this wonderful general term here, this super hugely powerful general term. And I'm not going to force you to memorize this. This general term formula is actually on your formula sheet. Big problem is, is how do you use it? That's where we're going to come down to this question. Okay. So first things first, let's be organized. Let's go out and find out how many terms we have in this expansion. Well, wait a second. That's to the power of 9. Oh, my God, yeah, that's the easiest thing in the world. We know that we're going to have 10 terms. It's going to be that simple. Okay? Now, here's the question, though. The question is, what is the fifth term of that expansion? In other words, I want to find T5. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Term 5. Well, look at this. This means term K plus 1. Oh, this is too confusing. No, it's not. All you got to do is say, okay, I'm going to let this be equal to term k plus 1. Right? I want the fifth term, and that's how I'm going to work it out. So I'm going to figure out the value of k. Real simple. This is 5 equals to k plus 1. Bring the 1 over. k has to equal to 4. Your k value's got to be 4 in this particular one, right? Hmm. Okay. So what does this mean? Now look at the formula. Now you got n, now you got k, you're good to go. Let's find the fifth term. Okay? n, of course, is going to be 9. Choose. k, of course, is going to be, you just figured out, 4. Right? This is x. x is 2x. Okay? 2x to the power of, right there, 9 minus 4, that's going to be 5. Your B term, or your Y term, here, let's clean this up because I can't see it. Oh, it's just minus 1. So this is minus 1, and don't forget, it always matches with this guy, to the power of 4. That's it. That's how you're going to find the fourth, or sorry, the fifth term 
of this particular thing. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Well, we got to figure out 9 choose 4, that's for sure. Well, that's easy. That's just a calculator click away. I'm going to move up to here, steal this guy here, and I'm going to change this to 9 choose 4. Well, that's simple. 9 choose 4, enter. I got 126. So back to here, this is 126. I got 2 to the power of 5. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So this is 32x to the 5, and I got negative 1 to the power of 4, so guess what? That's power of 1. So all I have to do is multiply 126 by 32, and I've got my answer. Okay, 136 times 32, 4352, 43. 5, 2, x to the 5. There's my fifth term of this expansion, and I wouldn't have to go out and expand anything or nothing. I use the general term formula, and I've got it. So, let's do a couple more in the next podcast. Sarait? Sarait. Sarait.